You know, the best sources of leads for building inventory right now is FISBOs and expireds for several reasons. Number one, it's a growing segment. Number two is agents, unfortunately, don't work it. Number three is it really costs no money. You don't have to do mailings and self-promotion. If you have a cell phone and a phone number, you're good to go. But most importantly, is these are all people who raised their hand and said, I'm committed to selling now, not in the future. So if an agent wants to quickly build their listing inventory, build their business, FISBOs and expireds are the best. Well, hi, I'm Daryl Davis. Um, so just a little background, I guess. The uh, I've been in real estate since I was 19, uh, I'm 50, over 50 something. And so I've been eating, sleeping, drinking real estate either as a, as a salesperson, a manager, speaker, and trainer, written three books for a real estate agents. And uh, I love training agents. Uh, people say that I am the guy they would come to if they want to learn what to say, when to say, and how to say when they're belly to belly, face to face with a buyer or seller. Most agents will ask me, how do you get a buyer to pull the trigger on making an offer? Well, the best way is to really not focus on working the buyer, but actually focus on working the house. The product that we sell for a living is houses. And a lot of agents have the mentality of taking a buyer out and showing them 10 houses. But the best way to, to have more contracts is to take one house and show it 10 times. The motto my students live by is less stress, income higher, work the house, not the buyer. The best way for an agent to improve their close ratio, and this is going to sound like an oxymoron, but that's not to close them. It's to go there to coach people, to find out what they're committed to, give them the best advice. And if you care more about them than you taking a listing, they will sense this. They'll be more responsive. They'll trust you more and they'll want to choose you over somebody else. You know, how an agent can manage their time between family and business is understand that it, there's a limited amount of time every week, there's 168 hours. And if we don't schedule that family time, yes, we're gonna get burnout. Usually if the family gets what's left over, and that's really not fair to them, we should kind of put them at the top of the to-do list and not at the bottom. So if the agents wanna learn more about the training that we have, uh, the, we have a coaching program based on our book. It's called thepowerprogram.com. So thepowerprogram.com and there's a plethora of stuff that'll help them in getting to their next level in their business.